Hello, Buzz and Girls. My name is Also C, and welcome back to episode 5 of my season 2 hardcore challenge. So far, we did not die. Uh, we managed to get last time half a stack of diamonds, which of course are 32 and not uh, 23. Uh, I am not that good with, uh, with numbers, especially the orders of numbers. So focus today is we need more gold and then we want to get back to our cows uh, and our village which is roughly in that direction there. About roughly a 1000 block. So uh, we will head up a bit to level minus 16. Uh, which should be the sweet spot for all the gold we need and then uh, slowly mine our way back uh, to the spawn village and hopefully until we get there we have enough gold. I am aiming for two stacks and currently we have a bit under half a stack. We also have a bit more iron. I think I will melt this down so that would give us uh, a, a free slot. So uh, I guess I will see you when we find gold. Found ourselves a bit of uh, gold over here in uh, this spot and then I broke through into this cavern where there is more iron so uh, let's let's collect on the uh, iron uh, we can toss out a bit of cobblestone get this iron and you can or maybe you can but I can definitely hear some moaning and groaning from uh, zombies and I would assume I thought that this over here was a dungeon but apparently not so they are down here a bit As long as the caves are not larger, oh, they are up there. Uh, we should be okay with uh, exploring them. We came in here and basically this is the level we are mining for our gold so let's continue further down this way more gold four pieces five six more back here up there does not look like it but 52 it's not too bad um, Ooh, another diamond up here it's not unheard of we will take it and this one and we shall have a look around and there is more so what's it all
Yep, apparently. I thought I heard a bit of uh, groaning. And there we have a cave. Yep, you are dead meat and it goes upwards. I also hear a skelly and a bat. And I think at one point I heard a spider. And spider would be good because I need a bit more string. over and down again on this side lapis we have enough lapis but uh, we can use the uh, XP so we will take that Uh, same for redstone. Redstone gives good XP. Or back there? No. Okay. Has this been all from this cave system? where we came in and slew the zombie so let's have a poke hole here and that was a good decision we struck gold quite a bit of gold part of the cave. This goes up here. Here is Kelly. Baddies. Don't want to go near there. This direction looks like quite uh, open, so uh, maybe let's block this off for now. Also goes this direction and up there let's go down first and it goes deep I think we will not follow down there because that gets us away from the uh, optimal level of uh, ouch get out of here 
that gets us out of the uh, area where good um, gold veins are. Spider. And we got that string. Let's light up a bit. more gold just make sure properly lit up then eat up so we can regenerate and then we take this gold there more than just two Okay, and I have a full stack, so uh, we need the gold and not the deep slate. Right, I have two string, but not mind more. Let's get a bit more XP here. More dark spots over here. Goes down. There are skellies. Ouch! You have good aim. Um, don't think we want to go in that direction. But we can do a few poke holes around here. Uh, maybe not under the gravel. And then another open area on this side. It's down quite a bit and also goes up. And then we are at around level zero this is where the uh, deep slate transitions into normal stone still can find gold at this level However, it's not the optimal uh, spot. It's not diamond. Maybe if we go down here, uh, here we are at plus one. So. I think we shall go down again and grab us ourselves a few more um, 
golden uh, golden ore ingots um, where we came from yep that's power mining tunnel so let's get on with it because with the mining tunnel I know which direction I have to go without constantly uh, checking the, the coordinates Ooh, more diamonds back here. I say not no to those. And it's at least five. Yep. And I think bit further down there are quite a few spiders possibly a spider spawner but let's get on is our homeward way and hopefully we can manage to find a bit more gold as we go along And we reached another cave. There is quite a bit of uh, zombie groaning. Uh, but uh, maybe it goes on in that direction. But down there, I spotted another diamond. So let's go get it. All right. Okay. There is a zombie. At least one of them. Ooh, and a skelly. I'm out of here. Um, let's see if there is something in this direction. Looks like it. Yeah. Ooh, that's a spawner. Us, but we can reach them. So and backtracking. That should disable the spawner, so, uh, but uh, let's make sure properly light the area up. And, hmm, golden apple, yes. Some more string. Um, Don't need the gravel. 
I prefer the apple. Uh, iron ingot. Yes. Coal, but only I already have it. Nice. Nice find. And let's get on with it. Curious how you can see light at the end of the tunnel there, uh, but I can assure you that this tunnel has no light source at the end. Finally, a bit more gold. Right next to the lava filled cave. But we should be good. Let's make a poke hole in this direction. Just in case, just in case. And over there. Yep. So on towards home we go. Feels like in this direction we have another open cave. Let's have ripstones. This side it goes down steep and we have a bit of gold over on this side. So let's make ourselves a little bridge and then grab the gold with the iron pick. That's the right one. Three nuggets, four pieces, that's it, okay. Um, so it goes down here. Maybe not so deep. Look around. Up a bit. Out of torches. That's not too good. Um, let's make a few more. When they come in handy. Iron. Is a lava lake down there of uh, redstone. We'll mine it for the XP.
Diamonds. Yes, please. Bridge over here. Grab this one. Any more? This side. Another one. Another one there. Any more? Apparently not. Go back up here. Is a zombie? <laughs> up there, I heard. Kelly. Ooh, there is a large open cave over there. So we will not go in there. That's too dangerous. Look how beautiful. And quite a bit of uh, mobs. There. Ah, you found a way. Don't need the redstone. Oh. There is the skelly. Um, <laughs> That's a nice position. You cannot shoot us. And they dropped a golden trouser, which is great because we need a golden garment uh, for when we uh, go to the nether. And As if we would have to craft one, uh, that would cost us at least four golden ingots that we can save now. And another large cave with a skelly right down there and some auto mobs. Uh, but from here. I cannot. Maybe over there that's a bit of gold, but it's quite far away at the other side of the cave, so I don't fancy taking my chances in getting to there. So let's continue with our usual approach just have these poke holes and we find copper instead of gold probably we are a bit too high for gold apparently not too high for yet another diamond so let 
it's not always that one or this one. I reached one zero coordinate along our axis and I still have not got enough gold for two full stacks. Uh, but we almost have a full stack of diamonds. So I think we will head up in this direction here with a new pick. Uh, try to get to the surface. We might come across a few more gold uh, along the way. But... I do not want to uh, get underground too near the village because uh, if we are mining during the night uh, mobs can spawn up above which could make the villages tiny bit unhappy. We made it back to the surface. We are come out back there and we ended up in the flower forest where we first spawned in however a few more blocks further back uh, from the village so um, let's find out if my orientation is any good and we should head I think in this direction I think these sheep and uh, pigs look familiar. Here are some pumpkins. And there is the village. And all the way back there is our little farm. There are a few pumpkins up here. Um, don't need that much cobble, but let's grab a few of those and we will spend quite a bit of time here. Um, so let's place down our furnace, our crafting bench. We used up uh, pretty much of our wood for a torture sensor. Um, we want to have a bit of storage. So let's make a double chest. We can put in here the dresses. Um, we will place the bed here. We can smelt up the gold. Um, can put the bones away, the feathers away, the diamonds for now. Don't need to keep all that food on us. Also the uh, iron, and some of the building blocks. Now, our inventory looks much cleaner. There is a broken portal over that way. This could help us as uh, it contains a bit of uh, obsidian. So uh, having that already uh, nearby uh, means we do not need to mine that much obsidian ourselves. Um, and over here we probably need a new hoe. Um, and did I put, yeah, put all the iron away. So let's make a pair of shears and have one pumpkin sheared so we get a few seeds. And Pumpkins grow a bit 
different than uh, normal uh, wheat as they grow into uh, one of the uh, adjacent uh, fields so you have to have those unoccupied that's why I'm placing them a bit further apart and they need to grow up first um, I don't need this one um, yeah let's also shear the second one so we can get bit more seeds as you can see the farm has grown a bit I expanded a bit uh, the pumpkins but uh, that's the first one I also went fishing uh, using up a full fishing rod without getting anything really good but that's it for now so i will continue farming here fishing and then in the next time we can check out the uh, broken uh, portal back there over my shoulder and also see if we can get any good villager trades so see you then goodbye